Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you are welcome to the short word for today's audio daily devotion. We are getting ready to read God's word, the short word for today's audio daily devotion by Jefferson Otombara Ingbi. You can visit our website at www.theshoreword.org.uk for more resources. If you want to send in your prayer request, feel free as you take the time to fill out the prayer request form on our home page. Today is Tuesday, September 14, 2021. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Note that your happiness does not depend on your circumstances. It depends on your will. It's a choice that you make. Make up your mind to be happy today. No matter what, let no one in no situation take that away from you. Hold on to your joy. Have you been in this kind of situation before or most of the time? Just when you think everything is going great, something comes your way to make everything so wrong. You start losing your confidence as you begin to think that you are not good enough. Because you made mistakes, it's not a conclusion that you are not good enough. Your mistakes don't define your character. It's what you do after you have made the mistake that makes all the difference. Don't let your wounds turn you into a person you are not. Your past mistakes are meant to guide you, not define you. No matter the situation, never let your emotions overpower your intelligence. Don't let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. Don't worry about what you can't control. God did not give you a brain for decoration. Your brain has a purpose. Fill your brain with giant dreams so it has no space for petty pursuits. You got to use your brain. It's the most essential part of your equipment. Think higher, feel deeper. Remember, no amount of thinking can stop thinking. The foundation of the short word for today is Luke chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. Quote, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he had anointed me to preach the gospel the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord." Unquote. The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. This week's title for the sure word for today's series is the logician part three of self. The affirmation for this week's sure word for today God will never disown me. All Bible quotations are from the King James Version unless otherwise stated. This week's Bible verse is from the book of John chapter 8, verse 7. Here is the Bible verse quote. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Unquote. The study of truth, entirely based on the meanings of the terms they contain, is called logic. Is Jesus logical? Is being logic against the will of God for your life? But God wants you to reason. He allowed Adam the free will to reason and figure the names for all the creatures of the universe. Adam even went ahead to call Eve a woman. His reason for calling her a woman was because she was taken out from a man. While they waited for Jesus to respond, he wrote on the ground with his fingers as he reasoned, analyzing the facts before reaching a decision. Is prayer more important than reasoning? 
before you answer, remember, there is always a reason why you pray. No matter the reasons for your prayers, you talked about it, analyze your prayer points, research the right scriptures to use and spoke the word of God. It was not an automatic process. You knew what you desired before praying. Reference, Mark chapter 11, verse 24. So Jesus listened so he could separate the facts from the evidence. At a fundamental level, you need to understand the difference between a fact and an opinion. Often, your argument will start with an opinion, but all disputes must contain plenty of factual evidence. Facts are statements that can be objectively proven based on evidence. Opinions are personally held beliefs that cannot be objectively verified. All over the Bible, the heroes and leaders are logical. Solomon, King David's son, was required to decide which of two women was the mother of a baby when they claimed parenthood. Both had recently given birth, but one child had died. The Old Testament recounts the story in 1 Kings chapter 3 from verses 16 to 28. Solomon announced that the child should be cut in two so that each mother should have half. The real mother, unable to bear a son being killed, immediately offered the other woman to save the child's life, whereas the other woman agreed to the proposal. The false mother was thus exposed, and Solomon returned the living child to his natural mother. Quote, what things soever ye desire. Unquote. We have reached the end of part three of the Shoreward Audio Devotion series titled The Logician. We are getting ready to read God's words, the Shoreward Capsule by Jefferson Otombara Ingi. I would like you to read this at least once, twice, or three times a day. Whatever you are going through, this word will help you. If you start with me and repeat every word that I read, you will be blessed. Do not leave gaps in this recording. I will join you to repeat the short word capsule. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I am my superhero. I am my superhero. I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up because I have not tried all possible ways. Because I have not tried all possible ways. I am adventurous. I am adventurous. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I overcome fear by following my dreams. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to strangers on the internet. I will not compare myself to anyone. I will not compare myself to anyone. I am a loving person. I am a loving person. I am purposeful. I am purposeful. I am created with divine intention. I am created with divine intention. I feed my spirit. I feed my spirit. I train my body. I train my body. I focus my mind. I focus my mind. It is my time to excel. It is my time to excel. I am in charge of how I feel. I am in charge of how I feel. And today, I am choosing happiness. And today, I am choosing happiness. I have the power to create change. I have the power to create change. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I deserve the best. I deserve the best. And I accept the best now. And I accept the best now. I get things done fast. I get things done fast. I never put things off. I never put things off. I am a doer. I am a doer. I act quickly. I act quickly. I am motivated to finish my tasks. 
I am motivated to finish my tasks. I have the willpower to do my assignments. I have the willpower to do my assignments. I am a proactive person. I am a proactive person. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. I am fully committed to achieving my goals. I cast unto God every anxiety and depression I am feeling right now. I cast unto God every anxiety and depression I am feeling right now. And the Lord has embraced, extinguished, and crushed the anxiety and depression. And the Lord has embraced, extinguished, and crushed the anxiety and depression. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I bring forth fruit in my season. I bring forth fruit in my season. And my leaf shall not wither. And my leaf shall not wither. And whatsoever I do will prosper. And whatsoever I do will prosper. The grace of God makes my mistakes prosper. The grace of God makes my mistakes prosper. I walk in the light of the word of God. I walk in the light of the word of God. And I live by the word of faith. And I live by the word of faith. I declare that today, I declare that today, this city and country I live in, this city and country I live in, we yield its fruit for me. We yield its fruit for me. And I shall eat my fill. And I shall eat my fill. And dwell in this city and country in safety. And dwell in this city and country in safety. I am not sick. I am not sick. My Lord has healed me of all kinds of disease. My Lord has healed me from all kinds of disease. God has not given me a spirit of fear. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. But of power, love, and a sound mind. I overcome every fear with the blood of Jesus. I overcome every fear with the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare that I have a sound mind. I decree and declare that I have a sound mind. By faith, by faith, we believe that those things we pray. We believe that those things we pray, we receive, we receive, and we have them, and we have them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have reached the end of the Sure Word Audio Devotion and the Declaration of the Sure Word Capsule. Please visit www.thesureword.org.uk for more capsules tailored to meet your specific needs. You can also put a request for a capsule to be created for any challenge you are having. Thank you for listening and confessing along. Please, don't forget to share this audio devotion. I will also love it if you can subscribe and click the bell icon so you can get the notification anytime we post a new audio devotion. Have a gorgeous day and may God continue to bless you, enlarge your course and increase your substance. Amen.